Two things. Auto notification table update is out, which means you can put the tables into your notifications. Second uh, news is, well, very British problem. It's the weather. It's crap. If you live in sunny California, that's obviously, well, goodness to you, but I live here and, uh, well, it rains more often than not. Why well, I'm talking about the weather? I'm talking about the weather because this tutorial is about the weather notification. And I, yes, 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 I know. It's been done before. I admit. However, um, the way the Android handles it isn't perfect and you get what you get is this small icon and it tells you the weather for the entire day. And I don't know if you've been to Britain, but you can get sun and then rain and then snow and then hail and then it's gonna be frosty throughout the day and that's really annoying. So I came up with this solution so you can see it here on the screen on this side. What it does basically whenever I'm leaving the home it will pop a quick update uh, showing me the weather in three hours intervals for the next 12 hours which means I get a little bit more information than just a single icon and it'll tell me the uh, temperature and the weather conditions a nice icon but most of all most important thing you will use the new auto notification table uh, to be generated and I'll show you how to do it there are two different notifications as you can see one is an old one one is a new one because uh, there was a um, an update in the middle of this tutorial so I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna cover both of them and this tutorial will show you essentially how to deal with the JSON files. Hi Jason. Um, how to do the subroutines, how to do the for loops and how to play with our arrays in general. So if you're interested stay around and I'll try to make it as interested as possible. So um, that's basically how it looks and obviously when you click on it it'll take you to the weather. I know I'm saving about two to three clicks and I could get that information from the widget itself which is placed on the pixel launcher but this is a task heavy video. I'm lazy and I'm saving those three clicks. Why not? All right tutorial is gonna um, follow very very soon so probably tomorrow because uh, I'm still working on it and that's just a kind of showcase and links obviously gonna be here so uh, thanks for watching guys you know what to do you know how to follow me so I don't have to teach you all that good stuff so see you in the tutorial part bye